Hello, uh, not quite back at uh, building R2D2 quite yet, uh, but I wanted to show you guys how I built myself a few uh, power supplies uh, yesterday. Uh, of course, you know, if you work in electronics, you have always some good power supplies, and uh, I have two of them over there, but these are not the most appropriate for if you're doing some uh, robotics in particular the uh, uh, also the voltage is adjustable usually the current is not enough uh, so and when you do amateur robotics you need 12 volts with a lot of current so I decided I'm going to buy no, instead of buying one I'm going to build uh, myself a few on the cheap so I actually built not only one but three of them uh, so the two first ones, they are built out of uh, those uh, cheap 12 volt power supplies that you can uh, find easily uh, from, from robotics stores. And actually they are good 12 volts, you know, 10 to 15 amps, uh, quite inexpensive. But they just come with a simple case and they are hard to use in particular. Uh, you don't have anything to, uh, you don't have connectors, you don't have switches, and you don't have a um, good way of measuring the uh, current in it. So I took one, put it in this wonderful case from Volt. Uh, my daughters use them uh, for uh, their uh, school supplies. And uh, just screwed that on the bottom. Uh, this is a cheap uh, meter from an electric scooter and a few banana plugs and a switch and off you go and it looks great and vintage so the only problem with that one is the uh, quality of the very cheap uh, meter here for the uh, ring intensity you'll see why so uh, if I turn it on uh, use those switches if you can with a light in it, it will save you the uh, uh, wiring and extra LED and so this is a, a dummy load it will generate about whoops there you go uh, 5 ohms 5 ohms 5 amps and here's the problem with the very cheap intensity meters it's not damped so you can see it just go uh, keeps going eventually it's going to stay 5 amps but well, that's not too bad. For a few bucks, you get a uh, 10 amp power supply, so you can test motors and dome. And whoops, this is emitting some magic smoke. Don't leave it too long. And uh, so here's another one. A little, you know, built around a bigger case. Uh, same principle. Uh, except I was able to find a uh, vintage meter, I love those, uh, it wasn't expensive because it was a surplus and then I was able to rig it up uh, with a, a few current measuring resistors to uh, read amps uh, and that one is much better. If my resistors is not burned up quite yet, uh, put one on. And you can see, jump will go straight to the right measurement. I'll be fine. So those uh, Vols cases are really good. Uh, and so here I have, I have a 10 amp and a 12 amp voltage supply. So good for all kind of robotic usage. And they look good. And the last one, of course, um, and you can't beat that uh, for price and functionality, is to take an old ATX power supply and then rewire the inside. And uh, there was a, a good tutorial on uh, YouTube, which I followed, except uh, this is a Dell, so the, the, the wiring is a little bit different. So you, you sort all the wire output uh, from your computer power supply according to color, and this is ground, black is ground, red was uh, red is 5 volts, yellow is 12 volts, and in that one uh, it has a minus 12 and minus 5, which are really useful uh, for all your electronics. 
and then you have to rig up a few uh, diodes, uh, LEDs, uh, and uh, put them on the side of the case, and you end up with a pretty neat power supply. You can't beat those power supplies. They are so efficient. Even the old ones, the newer ones, are even better. Uh, that's the best bang you can get for your buck. Particularly when this one has already been paid for, I can put it back together. And uh, so they need a load to get started. And here I have a choice of those three. Uh, you have everything: 3.3, 5 volts, 12 volts, minus 12, and minus 5, and 22 amp at 5, and 14 amp at 3.3. So it's even better than this guy. So it's remarkable what you can get out of those supplies, no, not, not the lowest loss, uh, not the lowest noise ever, but no, to, to uh, mimic a robot environment is perfect. And then you have the on switch, which I had to add, and uh, the little switch on the side uh, just turns the power supply on, and off we go, we have all the right voltages. So it's a... Uh, Pretty good way to have a nice assortment of power supplies here. So, next, we're going to do some real robot building.